If you'd like to see how I created this lovely, beautiful work of art on a budget, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today I am going to be making a canvas art painting and I may or may not use the crushed glass. I think I'm just gonna see how it goes with just the glitter. I'm going to be using white paint and black paint. This one I think came from Michaels. It was about a dollar. And then this one came from Walmart for about 50 cents. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right to it. Um, you'll also need a paintbrush. I purchased mine from the Dollar Tree. Um, you'll need some glitters. Let's see. I'm going to use some chunky glitter flakes and I'm also going and to I may use, even some, use some black glitter as well. Okay, so I'm starting out just um, brushing in the white paint. And it may seem like, why would you put white paint on a white canvas? Well, when you like look at it in person, it does make a difference. And it's not the same exact white that the canvas is. Um, it just wouldn't look right to just leave it the way it is. I mean, I haven't tried it, but just make sure that you focus on covering your entire canvas with the paint so you don't have any of the background of the canvas showing. And also be sure to add more as you need of the paint and also just cover up those edges. So be sure to make sure you just cover up those edges. You don't want to forget that part because when it's on the wall, you'll still be able to see those edges and it'll just look much better if everything is just painted over nice and evenly. Okay, so now I am putting on my black. Now make sure you use plenty because I wanted to make sure that mine was nice and dark and coated very well. As you'll see later in the video, I did have to do a second coat. So you'll avoid that by just making sure that you have enough paint on your brush and on your canvas to begin with. So I just sped it up because it's like pretty much the same thing. Me just stroking the brush across the canvas and as you can see, some brush marks there. Some of that kind of disappears once your canvas starts to dry, but some of it doesn't. So make sure that you have plenty of paint on your canvas. And if this is your first time doing something like this, as you can see, it's not that bad, right? And what I'm doing right here is just blending. I don't want to have like a harsh line down the middle. So I'm just taking the front of my little Dollar Tree brush and just like blending it. This is the liquid glass. It's a medium pouring. It's like a better um, alternative than using resin. Some people use Mod Podge, but what this does, it's like a resin. It holds everything in place. Like when you put your heavy glass and crushed mirror on here, it holds it in place. It dries clear and it does not have that harsh smell that epoxy has. Now, if you prefer to use resin epoxy, that's cool. But I found this product and I really, really like it. I use it in my other videos to seal glitter as well. So I bought this off Amazon. They no longer sell it. So you have to go to Blick.com to buy more. That little bottle was about $18 on Amazon. But for some reason, it's like not, maybe it's sold out or something. I don't know. So I'm just taking my brush and just smoothing out the center so I can have a nice thick area. Put it on a glove because you want to be careful with the crushed glass. This crushed glass, I made it, I have a video making this, just crushed up some Alfredo um, glass jars, okay? I painted it black with some mica powders. No, the alcohol inks, so it's black. So I'm just putting it on the black area. I just wanna have some, what is it, dimension or some texture. I don't want it to be flat. I kind of want like that 3D look. So I'm just putting this on there. I don't really have that much. I made like eight different colors, little baggies. I'm so glad. I had no idea I was going to do this in the future with it. So I'm glad I did because it looks really, really pretty. So I'm just emptying out my little baggie of my crushed glass. So you may want to consider for different options to color some of your crushed glass. And it's on a chunky side because I made it myself. 
When you buy it from Michaels, it's usually a little on the finer side. So it's like all about preference. So right here, I am adding my, um, th these are the thicker side. Like these are like glitter flakes. I purchased these from Michaels. It was coming out a little too slow, so I just had to tap it on the back a little bit. It still was coming out slow, so I just kind of took my top off and just gently shook it over the black area, also on the white. And you guys, if you like the bling and glitter and sparkle like me, this will be your favorite part of doing these canvas arts. Um, I love to just add on all the glitters. I love it. This is this is what really makes it pop and just so pretty. So just go ahead and watch me add. I'm going to add on a couple other glitters. I like to use fine glitter, glitter flakes, extra fine glitters, confetti glitters, whatever glitter because it all does something different. So just keep watching you guys. And you know it's completely up to you. Like if you don't want to do a whole lot of glitter, you want minimal, shake it on minimally. If you want a lot, shake it on heavy. That's the wonderful thing about this. It fits your personality. Like it's different than just buying something in the store or online for your home. You know how you want it, so hook it up how you want it to look. And it has sat at least about five hours. So it is fully dry. Well, it should be fully dry. And I am gonna go ahead and dump this into a box. I'm just gonna take a brush, a clean dry brush, and just kinda brush down to get any and all of the excess glitter and glass off of my canvas here. I'm gonna give it nice sturdy strokes. Anything that's not gonna stay, we need to make sure that comes off because you don't wanna have this like up on a wall and it's just always having glitter just come off of it. I really like the way this black and silver look. So far, and these, um, I had some black crushed glass, and it stays on here really good. So that liquid glass really holds it down. But what I did do, I noticed also, I didn't let my paint fully 100% dry. So I think that's why it's so much of the silver glitter here. I'm okay with that though. But next time I will let it dry fully. And I think I could probably go over this one more coat. I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of see my brush strokes there. But so far, I, I still like this. It's really different, it's very abstract. I was kind of hoping to see some of these squiggles like I have here on this side in silver. It didn't turn out that way. But I still think this is pretty neat. So I'm just gonna continue to knock off the glitter. And this is how it is if you go light to dark. Maybe someone might like the dark part at the top. I'm gonna continue to just knock off what we have and then we'll just reveal it at the end. Very good. But I do want to try to fix this. If I hold it at an angle, maybe you can see it. You can see my brush strokes, it's a little too transparent here. I want that to be a lot darker. So I'm just gonna add a little more paint. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. And if I do, hopefully it's fixable. So I'm just gonna add a little more paint here, just a little bit more. Just like a second coat, that's all. What a difference this made adding on this extra coat for the black to be just nice and thick looking. I love it so much i'm glad i decided to go over that see that's just simple sometimes you have to make some alterations 
so much better already. It's just fuller. I want it to be a much fuller look. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll sh I'll Okay, you guys, here is the final result of this black and white and silver canvas art. This is so beautiful and classy. Like, I feel like, I feel like I bought it from somewhere expensive. That's how good it looks. Like, wow, did I really do that? You need to make one for your home. You need to make one as a gift, a housewoman gift. Don't go spending all that money at Z Gallery if you don't have it like that. And even if you do have it like that, you may want to do it the way you want it to look. Do it. This is only my third time doing this. Look how nice this came out. And I'm just using a little 50 cent paint. Can you imagine if I stepped it up and maybe used some more expensive paints eventually and expensive brushes? You need to do this. You're watching this video because you may have an idea that you can possibly do this. I'm telling you, you can. I love this. This is going to be a gift for someone, and I really, really hope that they do enjoy this. I had a good time making this. I really did. And I think that you can definitely make it too. You can put this in your bathroom. If you have, like, maybe a finished basement, you could put it there. If you own a hair salon, honey, or a barber shop, you can decorate your business with this, your office. This can go in so many different places. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Cause I'm like into like bright colors and neons. This is more toned down and I love it. So thanks you guys for watching this video. I hope you received some inspiration or some cool ideas. I hope you're led to make one of these for yourself or a close friend. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, share it on Facebook if possible. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this because I will be doing more. And if you don't subscribe, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Also, be sure to check out my playlist that I will have with the canvas arts and also videos of me rhinestoning and glittering different things like wine bottles, liquor bottles, shoes, and more. Thanks again. Bye-bye.